we welcome our viewers all over the world. The video you are about to watch provides very important information on what to do if you or someone you know has been diagnosed with cancer. As much as possible, the presentation has been simplified to make it easy to follow and understand. The information in this video must not be substituted for medical care. We recommend you use the information presented as a guide to aid discussion with your doctor. In this video, we address key questions you ought to ask your healthcare provider. We also direct you to websites that can be useful in your journey through treatment. We thank our medical experts for input into this presentation. Remember, you are not alone. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. On your screen are useful resources if you or someone you know is diagnosed with cancer. We encourage you to visit these sites. The workings of a cell are orderly and purposeful and regulated by genetic information contained in DNA and RNA. Cancer may occur when these processes become uncontrolled, disorderly and unregulated. Cancer starts in a cell or group of cells which are the smallest basic structure in the body responsible for the functioning of the body or organism. Inside a cell are all the many essential elements such as proteins, DNA, RNA and other small molecules responsible for generating energy, detoxifying harmful substances, etc. A diagnosis of cancer can be made in a variety of ways. Most commonly, a sample material, also called a biopsy, is obtained from the organ or tissue affected by the cancer. A sample can also be obtained from scrapings of the surface of an organ or tissue or from fluid in a part of the body affected by the cancer. The sample collected undergoes a series of specialized procedures that are beyond the scope of this video. The processed sample is then examined under a microscope by a trained medical specialist known as a pathologist. You may have heard the word tumor and wondered if it always means cancer. The answer is not necessarily. A tumour refers to a collection of cells that have formed a lump. When examined by a pathologist, the tumour may be found to be benign, meaning non-cancerous or malignant, which means cancerous. You may hear your healthcare provider refer to the primary of the cancer. This term describes the location in the body where the cancer first began, such as the brain, lungs, bowel or liver. It's important to ask your doctor about the primary site of your cancer, as it plays a key role in determining your treatment plan. Treatment options may include surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, which uses the body's immune system to fight cancer, or bone marrow transplant, among others. The choice of treatment depends on several factors, which are beyond the scope of this video. Another term you may likely hear is the grade of the cancer. This is referring to how abnormal the cancer cell looks like compared to a normal tissue. The higher the grade or more abnormal or disorganized the cancer cells are, the higher the likelihood of it being very aggressive and likely to spread to other parts of the body. In most instances, cancers are graded from one to four. A unique grading system may be utilized for specific cancers. Ask your doctor the grade of your cancer. The grade of the cancer is very different from the stage of the cancer. Your doctor determines the stage of the cancer after reviewing your physical examination, relevant lab tests, and imaging studies such as a CT scan or MRI. Worldwide, for most cancers, the system used for staging is based on these three letters, T, N, and M. The letter T for tumor indicates the size of the tumor. 
The letter N for node indicates the involvement of lymph nodes, including where and how many. The letter M for metastasis. This informs on whether the cancer is only limited to the site of the sample or organ or tissue or if it has spread to nearby organs or different parts of the body. Not all cancers use the TNM system. You should ask your doctor if the TNM is used for the assessment of your cancer. If this system is not the one relevant to your cancer, you should ask what system is used for the assessment of your cancer. Your doctor can determine the stage of your cancer using the TNM system. In this video, we will focus on cancer staging from stage one to stage four. The stage generally indicates the size and proximity of the cancer to the initial or primary location of the cancer. The higher the stage, the higher the likelihood that the cancer has involved surrounding tissues or organs. Stage four indicates that the cancer has spread to other parts of the body and not just the areas near the initial or primary location of the cancer. Be sure to ask your doctor what stage your cancer is. Your doctor may mention that specialty tests may be required to determine the level of some substances that the cancer may be producing into your blood. These are called tumor markers. These can be used to determine how advanced the cancer is or if the cancer is aggressive. These tumor markers can also be used to assess if the specific treatment for the cancer is effective. For example, if the level of the tumor marker was high at diagnosis and is reduced or disappears with treatment, it may indicate the treatment is effective. If the level of the tumor marker starts to increase, it may indicate the treatment may not be effective. Your doctor should be able to provide you with information on these tumor markers. Examples of tumor markers are PSA for prostate cancer. A common tumor marker for colon cancer is CEA. For patients with ovarian cancer, a commonly measured tumor marker is CA125. Be sure to ask your doctor the tumor marker used to monitor your cancer. Another type of tumor marker that can be assessed may be in the cancer itself instead of in the blood. Examples are estrogen and progesterone receptor in breast cancer. HER2 for breast or gastric cancer. Programmed death ligand 1, PDL1, in many cancer types to assess if immunotherapy may be helpful in treatment. There are many more of these tumor markers that are beyond the scope of this video. Be sure to ask your doctor about the specific tumor marker that may be pertinent to your cancer. The treatment specific to your cancer will be guided by several factors, including the type, grade, and stage of the cancer, as well as the results of laboratory and blood tests, such as hemoglobin levels, white blood cell count, and assessments of liver and kidney function. Together, these results help your medical team determine how well your body may tolerate the proposed treatment. Let us pivot to discuss seeking a second medical opinion about your cancer and its management. It's a good idea to consider getting a second medical opinion about your cancer and treatment plan. This is often overlooked, but it can be very helpful especially if there's no emergent need to start treatment right away. A second opinion means having another cancer specialist review your test results and treatment options. It's often best to find the specialist yourself, ideally at a well-known cancer center, to avoid any conflict of interest. Don't feel uncomfortable about telling your doctor most doctors understand and may even suggest it. Earlier, we shared a website that can help you find a second medical opinion. Once a decision has been made on what the appropriate treatment you should receive, your doctor should provide you with a treatment plan specifically made for you. 
This should include the type of cancer, the grade, the stage, your pertinent tumor markers, the kind of therapy for your cancer, the name of your treating doctor and the key nursing personnel, the phone number to contact should you have an emergency or have questions. The treatment plan must indicate the particular kind of treatment, common side effects of the treatment, how often you'll receive treatment and how long the treatment will last. It should also include the prognosis or what the expected outcome of the management of your cancer should be. Specifically ask if treatment will be curative or palliative. Curative means the cancer can be cured. Palliative means there is no cure for the cancer, but the side effects of the cancer on your body or the progression of the cancer may be slowed down. Once your cancer treatment options are being discussed, one of the first questions you should ask is whether there are any clinical trials available for your specific type, stage, and grade of cancer. This is a critical question, as there may be investigational therapies currently in development that could be beneficial to you. Participating in a clinical trial gives you access to study drugs that are not yet approved by your country's regulatory authorities, but which may offer promising outcomes. Don't miss the opportunity to explore these potential options. Ask early and ask clearly. When inquiring about a clinical trial, you must ask the principal investigator, PI, if the clinical trial has been approved by the Institutional Review Board, IRB, or the Ethics Committee of the hospital. You must not participate in a clinical trial that has not been approved by the IRB or Ethics Committee. You may want to consider transferring your care if convenient to a site that may have a clinical trial ongoing for your cancer. This is a discussion you should have with your doctor, your family and the doctor at the site where the clinical trial is ongoing. In summary, while the diagnosis of cancer can be life-changing, there is hope with new treatment options, including the availability of clinical trials. Many government and non-profit organizations also offer helpful information to support you through your treatment journey. Remember, you are not alone. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation. If you found this presentation informative and educational, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and sharing with family members, friends and colleagues. Your support helps us create more informative and educational content. Until next time, stay strong, stay hopeful. This has been a presentation of Apomolero Media, LLC.